All right, boys and girls, we're here today to talk about how to join runs. There will also be a short section at the end on how to increase your frame rate. Um, so you can stick around for that if you want to as well. Um, okay, so let's get into it. First off, um, you're going to have a couple of sections here. You're going to have a lounge and then a rating area. Um, rating 1 is, is open right now, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to join Rating 1, and then we're going to click the uh, big purple void entity, uh, and then that's all you have to do. The raid leader will call location um, after a couple of minutes, and so, uh, yeah, that's all you have to do. Uh, is wait for the AFK check to end and then the raid leader will call location. If you do get moved out because you're on an android, you have a post AFK move in. So you'll join lounge and then you'll react to the void entity again and then uh, the bot will move you into uh, the respective rating channel that the AFK check is for. So uh, that's really all it is. Uh, it's not too hard. It's actually quite simple. So, once the AFK check ends, the raid leader will call location. During this time, you can go to your character selection screens, select the character you want to bring to the run. Um, that way, uh, when you enter Nexus, it'll be at the top of your list when you exit back to home. And then from there, you can go to your service selection screens and wait for the raid leader to call the location. After the post AFK ends, the server will be called by your raid leader. You'll go to the respective server on your server selection screens and then the respective bazaar. You're going to get screwed over by the daily login, but that's okay. You'll make it in anyways. Then once you join in the run, um, you'll spam your interact key on the portal to get in. Uh, once you get into the run, you'll realize that the raid leader uh, cleared a full loop and then you're going to demote them. So yeah, that's how to join a run. Pretty easy. Not a whole lot to it. So let's move on to the next section. Alright, so for decreasing your FPS lag, um, there will be a couple of things you can do here. Um, let's see, so I have 44, 50, 55, 56 FPS, hovering around 50 to 60 FPS. Um, so this is usually what it should look like normally. Um, in groups you may get drops down to like 5 or 6 FPS and I'm going to show you what settings you should probably have in order to make sure that's uh, not the case. So let's see here. Chat. Um, you can turn chat off if you want to. Um, it's just a preference though. So let's see. So you're going to want to turn draw shadows off. Um, that can help a little bit. Let's see. You have quality low will help a little bit. Particle effect low. Hardware acceleration on. Let's see. Draw text bubbles. Okay. HP bars, self and enemy. So you can do self, allies, off, all, enemy, self and enemy is usually the best. Um, let's see. Miscellaneous, experimental. Okay, so you're going to want to disable enemy particles, disable player hit particles, disable ally notifications, disable ally damage text, uh, disable ally shoot should be on all. You can do all sorts of different things there. Um, so, disable ally shoot should be on all, disable particles master should be on, disable enemy damage text is on, and so all that does is that shows the damage that you're doing to the enemies, that's all that's showing, um, instead of showing all the damage that the enemy's taking from everything. So that helps a little bit. Um, this is usually the biggest uh, player in how much your FPS drops, at least is uh, from what I've noticed. And then curse indication show XP should be on self. Um, okay, so um, that pretty much covers it. I'll show a couple of clips here um, on the FPS drops that you can get if you don't have these enabled, and uh, what you get if you do have them enabled. And um, that'll be it for this video. Cool. I think it's time to blow this scene, get everybody in the stuff together. 
Okay, three, two, one, it's jam. <laughs> 